All right, we are live. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to COVID Ideas Episode Three by the Banana Vester. All right, so welcome, our Banana Vester. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Wow. So, hey, thanks, thanks Hi. for coming back to share with us. Thank you, Ken. Thank you, thank you. So today, I see that you have got this interesting company called Alibaba. Of course, the question is, how many of you guys actually do know what Alibaba is doing? If you know what Alibaba is doing, can you please type? What do you think they are doing? Uh, you are eating banana. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Okay, Ken. So we will have the banana vester to guide us through. Tell us what you think about Alibaba, guys. Flood the questions coming in and then uh, let's discuss more. Let's go for it. Yes, Mr. Ba Banana Vesta. Cloud okay. computing. Yeah. Yes, uh, that's right. Uh, the Alibaba does do cloud. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, Alibaba, uh, I think uh, everyone know, uh, is founded by Jack Ma. Okay. They are actually the largest uh, e-commerce in China, and they are also the largest cloud provider in uh, Asia Pacific. Yep. Yeah, and when they actually go IPO, they actually set the record for the world largest IPO. Yeah, they actually uh, IPO at uh, 25 billion USD. Crazy number, man. Yep. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, what do you guys think? Is Alibaba more like Amazon, Amazon or Google? Okay. Yeah, I think I'll, yeah, uh, you can, you can, uh, you can uh, uh, tell me now, and then after I go through what they actually do, then uh, you can tell me again. So type A, A or G, but that also means that you have to understand Amazon or Google, correct? We should, okay, yeah. so Kevin, Kevin says it's Google. Uh, the rest haven't actually given any answer. Huh? So come, 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 come. So this is a very interesting topic. Huh? Yep. Hmm. Okay, so one of their core business Okay, it's actually the they call it the core commerce. Okay, their core commerce actually there are uh, a lot of e-commerce, but they combine their offline, online, and also they use a smart logistic to uh to actually uh, provide a, a very very uh, unique services. Okay, uh, mm -hmm. and also they they help a lot of uh, businesses. To actually to be able to uh, go go online and sell their sell their sell their stuff, okay. So these so, are core commerce, huh? Yeah. So yes, uh, yes. a lot of people are uh, saying already. Some say both. Ke Kevin say both. Lina say both. Vincent say Amazon. Um, how do you pronounce this name? Can you not read or not? Banana investor. Yeah. Oh, you banana, so you can do not read. Okay. No, so he says. Uh, <laughs> okay. Mm. Cool. 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 Yeah. So you can see. Uh, yeah, the, the just now the, the part is all within China, okay? All right. within China, they have a retail and they have a wholesale, okay? Uh, Timo Supermarket and Fresh Hippo are focused on grocery, okay? Timo is actually more on uh, B2C, like the Lazada, Last Mall, or the Shopping Mall. Taobao mm -hmm. is more like a uh, consumer to consumer. I mean, anyone individual, you want to sell your thing, want to sell That's your right. secondhand stuff, you can go Taobao. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course, Ali Health focus on... Uh, yeah, the 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 help help data tracking and also provide uh uh, uh the help commerce. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So on the bottom part, uh you can see all the AliExpress, Lazada, and then you can see the Kaula and then Alibaba.com. All this is actually uh they, they focus on the international market. Okay, right. Lazada uh, actually they, they acquired this a few years back. Uh, they focus on uh, Southeast Asia. Okay, uh, and then Kaula they just recently acquired is actually the e-commerce arm of uh, NetEase. If you know NetEase, uh, yeah, they are another company in uh, China. Right, right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they also do uh, consumer services. Okay. Uh, like the. Uh, LMA or Elema, okay, it's actually a food delivery service like uh, Grab Food or Food Banda, okay. The Kobe, okay, Kobe is actually, uh, uh, they actually merge it with uh, Elema to actually uh, enhance their delivery service. The Kobe, they provide a lot of uh, information on food, 
restaurant, travel, and then uh, renting and buying houses as well. Well, this one is like totally yeah. isn't there. There isn't a parallel you can think of, correct? So for Singapore or for Asia, is there a something that people not within China they can understand? So this one is almost like a what? Well, like like a trip advisor, I don't know, almost like a trip advisor plus something like that, yeah. Something like that, but they are more they cover yeah. uh uh a lot of things. Right, yeah. Oh, yep. Yeah. Okay, and then Fliggy is actually uh yeah, they focus on uh travel commerce, travel e-commerce. Yeah, right. this is actually the equivalent to a trip advisor. Oh, they are they are impressed with you, man. Banana can speak Chinese when. Good job, good job. So keep it up. Uh, don't eat so much, much banana. Okay. So, so you can okay. see Alibaba does a lot of things. A lot of things. Mm. So does it sound more like Amazon or does it look more like Google? Oh, it's an interesting question. Yep. Mm. Okay. And then next, actually, they're also in the digital media entertainment <laughs> sector. Okay. Yoku is exactly like uh, YouTube. Okay. And uh, they're actually yeah. the largest in uh, China. Okay. And then Alibaba Pictures, okay, so they have their own uh, production house as well, okay. Uh, and then uh, the da, da, Damai, okay, Damai is actually uh, the, an online entertainment uh, ticketing system. Right. Okay. And then the Xiaomi Music, uh, they actually rebranded it to Alibaba Music. It's actually the, the Spotify, uh, Spotify of China. Yep. Okay. And then the Suchi, Suchi uh, is actually a reading platform, okay? Uh, a bit yeah, like this Kinder, really, a bit like Kinder. Yeah, like. similar like to Kinder. La. But uh, right. this this name reminds me of a Hong Kong actress. La. Su, Su Chi. Mm. oh, okay. okay. Uh, Your personal favorite, la. okay. Who? I think uh, maybe others, la, okay? Okay. okay, and then they also uh, have this uh, innovation initiative, okay, uh, AMAP, okay, AMAP is actually a uh, uh, map and navigation, uh, yeah, <laughs> see, like equivalent to Google Map, and actually they are, they are listed, they are actually listed also, okay, right. uh, and uh, ThinkTalk, okay, ThinkTalk, you can actually uh, uh, imagine like uh, Slack, okay, Microsoft Team, Okay, or the Cisco WebEx team. This is actually for the productivity. Okay, productivity right. where you can do a video conferencing, uh, file sharing, presentation, whiteboarding, all this kind of thing. Yeah, and uh, yeah, they're also uh, the leading one in China. Virtual office, yeah, correct. Yes, okay. For Timo Genie, okay, Timo Genie is actually the, the smart speaker, uh, okay, like Apple HomePod. Okay, Apple HomePod, uh, Google Home, and then Amazon. What 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 is it called? Is it Alexa? Uh, yeah, Alexa. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So this is the the China version. Uh, they are, they are also the they are, they are number one in this market in China as well. Right. So so there's there's really a lot of things uh, and, and still haven't finished uh. still got a lot uh. Come on. Let's yeah. Go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So uh, next is actually on the infrastructure. Uh, before this, we talked a lot about uh, towards the consumer, right? Okay. So right, now right, right. Uh, the infrastructure, the uh, Alibaba Cloud, okay? Alibaba, Alibaba Cloud, you can actually uh, uh, imagine like uh, the Amazon uh, Web Services, AWS, yeah, AWS or, the, or the Microsoft Azure. Okay. So this, uh, this is uh, the equivalent and they're also the largest in China. Okay. And then uh, N Group. Okay, N Group uh, is a uh, it's, it's like a bank. Okay, it's like a bank. They actually help to give uh, micro to SME and yep. uh, for for the underserved and uh, unserved. Under okay? so they, yeah. yeah, so they take care of all those people that cannot take that cannot get loan. Now they're able to get loan with uh, the N Financial. Yeah la. Okay? It's legalized legalized loan shark, but they call themselves N. Yes, very good. Yep. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was supposed to like an end if you don't pay. Yeah, but but okay. Hmm. Okay. Okay. And then next is actually uh, Ali Mama. Okay. They, Ali uh, Mama. They, uh, yeah. They they Ali Baba. They also have Ali Mama. So Ali Mama basically is like uh, I would say maybe you can compare to Google Ads. Okay. Google Ads. Okay. okay or Facebook <coughs> ads, where they focus yeah. on marketing advertisement. Okay. They use their data, their big data platform to help uh, businesses to monetize. Yep, okay. yep, yep. So yeah. a bit like Google, so they can find out consumer patterns and things like that. So a lot, a lot of yeah. companies in China actually going very big into this, la, but they are one of the first mm. use. 
So hmm. again, Alibaba is more than meets the eye. Huh? Now suddenly we open up the door of Alibaba to you guys. I don't know whether you all know Alibaba before that. Maybe you all just know Taobao or Alibaba.com, right? But Alibaba is a huge company. But later hmm. we also dip into, go into like the, the main portion. Because a lot of companies, right? They do hmm. diversify along the way, but we still hmm. look at the core products, which we will zoom in back into. Yeah. Okay? Yeah, uh, Kao, Kao Wong, uh, actually, uh, N is not yet listed. Okay, I think the news just came out like yesterday or two days ago that it will be listed uh, and it will be one of the largest uh, IPO this year. Yep, if, if okay. it happens, uh, because now, now, now a lot of things are uncertain. So let's see whether it happens. Cool, cool, cool. Mm. Yeah, okay. And then uh, they're also in uh, logistic. Okay, in logistic, they also they actually have this uh, chai, chai, chai nail and also Feng Niao, okay. Chai Niao is actually uh, the the is a brand, okay. They're actually a smart logistic, okay. They partner with uh, uh more than seventy carriers uh, around the world, okay. They they do uh tracking, they do uh collaboration to to give a very very good uh, SLA to the customer, okay. They they ensure uh twenty four hours of delivery for uh within a uh, domestic and 72 hour for international that, that is their goal that's the goal okay I, I i think they they are on the way uh and that's their goal okay and feng now is actually the the actual logistic uh that that, that run on the field okay that they do the actual delivery and they deliver uh a lot for the erlama okay the food delivery yep 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 so there's there's a lot of synergy also and then after that right uh, so all these all these delivery stuff because they, they are the one doing the e-commerce so they are also mm. there's this thing called forward integration and backward integration uh backward integration where after they sell the things someone needs to deliver so they do need a certain supply chain and they actually add on to it so something very interesting uh, you can see alibaba they started with an e-commerce platform and they start to say hey people also need to borrow money people also need to uh, uh like uh, have a uh, technology on cloud and they start to expand 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 and because they are so huge they are one of the biggest uh, e-commerce platform. In, they are the biggest uh, e-commerce platform in China. They also get data. So this company, right, although it looks like a lot of things, but there's still a certain core products that they are serving. They serve people who are on the platform. So a lot of synergy. And synergy is very important when you come uh, look at businesses that diversify. Lah. Because I, I see I see a lot of businesses initially, they sell food. Then they after they go and build property. Then then after they go and uh, diverse into other things, may not be very synergistic. Yeah. Hey, okay, yeah. Come. Yeah, yeah. So uh, you, you you can see what what else that Alibaba do, right? Okay. So all the thing that you can imagine, they have they also have search engine, uh, called Senma. Okay. Uh, but this is focused on the mobile. Okay. And yep. they also have their news outlet. Okay. Their news outlet them quite changi one. Uh, they they have news for seven different languages, and also oh. they have their own own uh, web browser called Uzi Browser, and right. this uh. Tao Piao Piao, okay, is an uh, online movie ticket, okay, uh, distributor and also a uh, film promotion, okay. Right. So, well, what else are they doing? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So you see, right? Oh, you, okay. You this, yes, right. Yeah. So this is what Sean mentioned just now. Okay, they are very very integrated. Okay, they actually like have a uh, call system. Mm. Okay, they have an ecosystem. Okay, in fact, uh, whatever they go into, right, they make sure they can complement uh, their own businesses. Okay, you see from the bottom, right, they have their, their cloud infrastructure and data technology, which are supporting uh, their, all their businesses and they have their financial services. They offer all the payment, their all, uh, uh, option, payment option for their customer and also they offer loan for their business uh, owner that, that use their platform. Yeah, and then they also uh, have their own logistic and supply chain. Uh. Yeah, so so uh, very very well uh, integrated. Okay, uh, this actually bring down their their cost. Okay, their operation cost. Okay, because it's like left hand to right hand. So uh, yeah, you 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 get what I mean, right? Their their, their cost will be lowered. Yeah, like 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 atomic bomb. Uh, say it looks like an explosion like that. So mm. that's true. Uh. so Alibaba mm. is is exploding. Okay, I see got explosion sound. Uh. I only got thunder sound. Mm. Yes. So, yeah, so now what do y'all think, right? What do y'all think? Is Alibaba more like Amazon of China or Google of China? Okay, by the way, I think, uh, so, okay, because, because 
there are some comments here. I'll just read it outright. Okay, anyone wants to go into option, join this group. Maybe I will just say this because we are not, this is not recommended by us. If you all do have communities, you all can do join other communities, but we are not endorsing this because I don't know what's inside the group. And maybe maybe it's nice of you to uh, not promote your own link right here now. But I, I, I do, I do, I do love the ideas of community. We do have a Telegram group. We do have a Facebook group here. Do your chats here. That's where we can uh, really like, like share our own opinion, okay? But no problem. Mm. I, I, I really love communities a lot. But however, because I cannot audit and check every community, I'm not ad uh, endorsing any of this. Okay, cool. So, okay. They have many, many questions coming in. Doesn't this mean that Baba is super undervalued? It haven't happened. Now we talk mm. about what Baba is first, the company. But the price mm. will be a different thing, which we're going to go into in a moment's time, all right? So, yes. oh, some say they, are, they, look, they still look like Amazon. So, question, invest in New York Stock Exchange Baba or Hong Kong Stock Exchange Baba? Okay, uh, okay. so uh, right now, uh, there's uh, not much different. Okay, it depends on your preference or on your brokerage that you're using because Baba, are, they are not really paying dividend now. Okay, but if yes, they right. are paying a lot of dividend, right, then it makes a difference because uh, if you buy the ADR in the US market, your dividend yep. will be taxed. Yeah, that's right. For now, so, there's so, not much different. Yeah, uh, actually, go okay. The difference is you can use option uh, in US, correct? No, Hong Kong also ah. can actually. So Hong Kong also, Hong Kong also option. can. There's a small difference uh, because ADR, there's a, a very small amount of fee involved. Uh. Yep. Yeah. So, so what is ADR, guys? ADR is American Depository Receipt or something like that. So, so basically, for, for, for outside companies, they are listed in other places. They want to go and list in US, right? You are not really buying their share. Uh. You are buying another company shares that's holding their shares. So, so they list another company on, on New York Stock Exchange. And that particular company, it is also called Baba. They buy the Hong Kong shares and then they distribute it. Okay, or, or rather they buy the shares in China. No, 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 not from Hong Kong. Okay. So this is roughly, but it is ultimately still the same. You are still a shareholder. Not much difference. Okay. So, oh, okay, okay. Because because ADR. Uh, uh, the ADR uh, so far that, yeah. You said you liquidity, said. liquidity will be uh, slightly lower, okay, in some cases. But uh, for Baba, uh, for my experience, Baba at the US market, uh, the liquidity is also very good. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, US China issue, please comment later. Uh, if you have, you can actually share. Lah. So, Mr. Banana, you're, you're more towards US or China one. <laughs> okay, anyway, all their conflict and all their uh, embassy uh, stuff like that, later we can talk about it. Okay, cool. Mm. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Right, right, right. Okay, wait. So, yes, uh, how does Baba make money? Okay, you mentioned it already. Okay, let's go for it. Mm. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so uh, this is actually a high overview of uh, Baba in the numbers. Okay, they're, they're just a close their fiscal year 2020, uh, which is uh, end on uh, uh, March 2020, and they actually reached the, the, the gross merchandise value of uh, 1 trillion. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, yeah, can you, uh, Sean, can you click? Click uh, two, three more times. Okay. Yeah. So uh, last year, right? Okay. Last year, they actually uh, only done uh, about 20% uh, uh, less. Uh, okay. They grow about uh, almost 20% compared to last year in terms of the GME. Okay. And compared to the second largest and the third largest, right? Okay. Yeah. So you can see a uh, JD, they actually uh, only uh, two, two trillion, uh, Raymond B, billion. Okay. Uh, two trillion and the uh, King Dodo, okay, this is the third, third largest, okay, uh, they do about 1 trillion in terms of the GME value, okay. Right. Yeah. That's right, so you can see that they are, uh, you add up together, right, also cannot win them yet, no? Yeah. Okay, yeah. So if you see uh, where their money come from, right, from their revenue, right, okay. Uh, Shen, can you click one more time, okay. Yes. Yeah. So their their core commerce, right? All their their online, offline delivery, e-commerce, okay, and the new retail actually consists of eighty two percent of their total revenue. Yes. Okay? Yeah, and uh, cloud computing is the second largest at uh, eleven percent, and then their digital media and entertainment at about five percent, and uh, their their innovative initiative and others uh, uh, give them about 2% of the total revenue. This is uh, based on the latest quarter. 
uh, and yes. ending a uh, marsh. Yeah. And actually, actually, right, if you actually based on this, right, it is a little bit more like Amazon instead of Google. If you if you based on the percentage of revenue, because for Amazon, the bulk of their revenue also comes from the online commerce. They also do have Amazon Cloud and stuff like that. Uh, yes. But one thing to note is this this portion, the cloud computing, is something that a lot of people expect it to grow quite a bit. Cu currently, right mm. now, uh, as Ken mentioned, correct, mm. they they have a forty three percent plus of the market share. Um, and and ten cent right, which is the second second holding uh second cloud service company, they only mm. have about eleven percent. So you can see they are four times bigger and fast uh, four times bigger la. So so mm. so they have an advantage in this space, and this space is expected to grow more and more. So you may mm. you may you may you may see a certain percentage of their total revenue increasing from the cloud computing space. This is something to take note of, la, right? And the rest yeah. uh maybe as of now. Pro pro probably I, uh, that, that, that part mm. I'm not too sure, but cloud yeah. computing is something that a lot of people have a lot of uh, expectations mm. of. Cool. Yeah, yeah. So okay, I just want to uh, add on a bit. Uh, so in terms of the revenue uh, size, right, the Alibaba is more like Amazon. Most more majority is actually the e-commerce. Okay, but the e-commerce part, right, they are very different. Okay, they are very different. Okay, uh, how Alibaba do e-commerce and how Amazon do e-commerce is very different. Uh, if you want to uh, compare uh, JD, JD.com in China actually uh, uh, resembles Amazon a lot more. Okay, they actually copy the business model of Amazon. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah, that's, that's what I want to say. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, now, now you're going into that. Yeah, so the market share, okay, uh, I only want to focus on the two, two part that really matters, uh, okay, which is the e-commerce and also the, the cloud, cloud computing, okay. So the, if you see uh, for e-commerce, right, they're actually the second largest, okay, second largest after uh, uh, Amazon, okay, and uh, in China, they're actually uh, dominating the market. That's right. Hmm. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the, the next level logo is blocking. <laughs> Actually, the figure oh. is about uh, 58, uh, I think about 58%. 58.2%. 58.2%. Yes. So, okay. yes. Right. Mm, okay. yeah. so I can see it dominates China. And, and I can tell you this is very interesting. Uh. Later, I give you some interesting numbers. So which one do you think is bigger, Amazon or Alibaba? I mean, pretty obvious, right? But later, mm. I show some very interesting numbers when I dig further and I compare these two. Which is a better investment? Guys, maybe I ask you guys this. Uh, E-commerce, we do know that it's going to, it's not going to stop. It's going to increase. Okay. Maybe it's going to go even faster. But right now, mm. what do you think? Which one is a better investment? Amazon or Alibaba? So you can type, if I ask you to compare these two, which one will you want to invest in? Okay. Mm. Okay. Yeah. And then oh, uh, next okay. is that, yeah. Next is actually the cloud, okay. Amazon actually leading at 33, okay. And uh, Alibaba is actually uh, behind uh, Amazon, Microsoft, Google, and also uh, IBM. Right, right. Okay, so oh, uh, there's, there's a question. Where is Shopify, right? Uh, ah, no. okay. <laughs> okay so you, want to, you want to talk about this? Okay, uh, I actually Shopify, right? They are not really the e-commerce, but they are a platform uh, to provide uh, the e-commerce, okay? Mm. Yeah. So, uh, uh, they, they only, uh, okay, Sean, maybe you want to take over this, lah, okay? Yeah, 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 correct, correct. So, there are two, two types of e-commerce platform. One is marketplace. Meaning you say you go there, like you go to amazon.com to search for things to buy. You go to mm. Alibaba to search for things to buy, but you don't, you don't go to Shopify to search for things to buy. You don't do that. Mm. Shopify yeah. is what we call a self-hosting platform where you actually mm. go to Shopify so that you can create an e-commerce store. Do, do you understand the difference? So one, one, is a, one is like I mentioned marketplace. So I think uh, for this portion, right, most of these places are marketplace. Uh, uh, at least you go there and search for things. Okay, so, so uh, not really competing with each other. Uh, slightly competing, you can put your shop on Amazon, you can put your shop on uh, uh, Shopify, but the nature is different. How they make money is also different. Shopify yeah. makes money through a monthly subscription, but where else Alibaba, Amazon, they make money both through ads and also a certain percentage of whenever a transaction takes place. Okay? So yes. good question, good question. So now we talk mm. about a cloud. Yes, cloud, cloud we mentioned already, right? Yeah, yes, yeah. And uh, you can see in China that Alibaba is also uh, having a monopoly. 
yeah, we about uh, forty six percent of uh, market share. The second uh, is actually the Tencent, and then uh, followed by Baidu. That's right. That's right. Mm. Okay. Yes. Hey, what do you guys think? Will COVID nineteen affect Alibaba? Okay. Oh, but mm. a lot of people or some people want to invest in Baba. Some people want to invest in Amazon. Well, well, well. Later we can uh share. One more thing called the valuation portion. But let's talk about it. What do you guys think? Will COVID-19 affect Alibaba positively, negatively, or not affected? So positive type P, negative type N, not affected type zero. Okay, Ken? So let's go. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so uh, first we talk about the negative impact first. Lah, okay. Yes, yes. Yeah, so the negative impact is uh, mostly hit on their food delivery service. Okay, mm -hmm. food delivery service. And uh, it actually uh, caused a lower growth on all the major category uh, except the FMCG. Okay, FMCG is a fast moving consumer group. Okay, and right. also consumer electronic. Okay, that means right. consumer electronic and FMCG, they still grow better. Okay, but right. uh, all the other uh, major category, they, they have a, a negative growth. Yeah. Correct, correct. Yeah. Mm. So of course, uh, uh, actually, if you all think about it, what's happening right now, there are certain portions that actually affected, certain portions that are not, not uh, uh, negative. So later we see yeah. the overall. Yeah. 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 But I think this is not too bad, right? Okay. Yeah. Because uh, if we go to see the the positive impact, uh, okay. Uh, Sean, can you click one more time? Yeah. So the positive impact, right? Okay. The business opportunity, right? This actually far outweighs outweighs the yeah, the negative impact okay so their core commerce uh, okay they actually like the Taobao life uh, they they see the 80 percent year on year growth for the the the, the last quarter okay the yes, last quarter of the financial year okay yeah yep 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 so this is yeah. a very hot number yeah yeah Yes, and they see an uh, increase uh, online grocery penetration that mean everybody they they do grocery from home already they don't they don't want to go out already that's right. Yeah. Yeah. And then like the Alibaba Cup also, okay. Yeah. Uh because the cup is booming, okay. All the work from home, the online education, everything will you need a cup infrastructure. Okay. Right. And Alibaba business is just they're, they're struggling to catch up with all the demand. Okay. Right. And also Ding Talk, okay, because everyone moved from home and the, the preferred choice in China is Ding Talk. Yeah, remember this one is like, yeah. like 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 the Microsoft Office, like the basically the the place where they can do Zoom, uh, not not Zoom lah, but a uh, WebEx call and also have shared files. It's a more powerful uh, version of Zoom, okay? Because Zoom mm -hmm. they they focus mostly on uh, uh webinar conferencing, right. okay? But Ding Talk, they actually uh uh they can uh do do a lot more, including uh uh working working. The work group where like uh, they have a permanent history of all the working conversation and then the file being shared. Okay, it's like a WhatsApp integrated, but then like whoever join in, right, they can see the history of all the, the previous conversation and the file share prior to that. That means they can keep track of a project very well in the Ding right. Talk. Yeah, and with the with the benefit of Zoom as well. They can actually start a call anytime or for the working group. That's right. That's right. Okay. So, so some of you say not much impact. Most of y'all say positive impact. Well, the truth is that, that there is a lot of positive impact because they are actually prepared for this kind of situation. Not, not maybe they are the one who actually promote COVID, man. Okay. Now, sorry, conspiracy idea. Please erase that part. Edit out, edit out. Now, if you're learning something so far, would you like to know about the valuation? Whether now is it undervalued or overvalued? If you want to know whether it's undervalued or overvalued, please type value. We want to tell you about the valuation of it. Very interesting company. And now I can tell you it is very attractive. And also do help us do a favor. Please click share on this video so that more people can learn about this because Baba may be an invest investable company right now. Cool. Uh, Pauline, uh, yes, uh, Ding Talk is also available in uh, outside of China. In fact, uh, I myself personally use it before and I have a friend who owns an organic business, they have about 60 or uh, 80, they have about 80 person in the company, they are using Ding Talk for the company. Right. In so Malaysia, yeah. I, I didn't know about that, man. So this, this is interesting information. Uh, you can see that basically their, their products and services is, is actually going out of China. But you must understand something. Um, 
this is something that I always feel. I, I feel that you see Alibaba services can go all over the world. However, many services from all over the world, sometimes, you know, China, they do have protectionism. So Amazon, very hard to go into China. I, I think they did, did some uh, go in a bit already. Lah. But China can come out from the world. And if people want to do business with China, they have to play by China's rules. Lah. So may or may not be fair, but from an investor's perspective, you can actually take that into account. Cool? Hmm. Hey, finances. Oh, are we going to take a look at this? Uh, yes. Okay, let me, let me go to that. Uh. Mm. Hmm. All right. So I do hope that you guys are learning something so far. And uh, thank you for Banana Investor, Banana mm. Vester, <laughs> <laughs> for sharing with us uh, all this. Uh. Okay, come. Let's go for Alibaba Group. Tell me where you want to zoom in. Okay, yeah, so uh, basically we look at the revenue, okay, so you can see from the past 10 years, right, okay, the revenue grow, uh, okay, it's not amazing, it's crazy, okay, it's crazy. Right. From 6 billion, okay, this is actually in a renminbi, la, okay, Chinese yeah, yen, yeah. okay, yeah, yeah and, and going each, they're growing each year, and today, okay, today, the last financial year, they're closed, they're actually doing 500 billion it's not okay. 10 How times, times? times it's not 10 times it's not 10 <laughs> times you can calculate <laughs> yeah this is a lot more than 10 times <laughs> yeah so if you can take a look at revenue mm. 10 years mm. uh okay actually it's okay they put 62 percent but i think it's a, uh, around that correct it's 62 percent annual annual growth rate 62 percent this is this is almost okay. near 90, yeah. 90 just, times. just for yeah. your information right okay for a company to 10 times in 10 years, they required a, about 36 annual grow rate, okay? Yeah, and yeah. they're doing 62, okay? 62. 62. Yeah. So they, they actually grow way past 10 times in the 10 years. Correct. But we also do see, right, you see the past five years, three years, seems like, okay, I wouldn't they're say slowing slow down. down yeah. slow, they yeah. are slowing down, but it is not slow. It's still 40% <laughs> per still year for the past five years. Still, still yeah, very still fast. Very okay. Yes, yep, yep, yep. yeah. Yeah. Okay. But okay, yeah. later we talk about whether do you think there's any impact now now that mm. uh you, you know that like China and US there's a lot of issues, there's the Houston's uh, consulate and stuff like that. Later we can talk mm. about it. But but you know, this 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 situation have uh, have been uh, around since since Donald Trump actually stepped on board. Uh. So mm. well I, I guess I guess now 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 Trump is doing even more things, in my opinion, doing more things mm. to try to be a hero because election is mm. coming. I think he's trying to like stir more anger outside outside us to make him seem like the hero of us that's my own opinion okay mm. so will this whole situation last i think it will last maybe until election and after that things mm. will refine because they do need the economy to actually uh, there's a lot of uh, trades now related to us and china yep mm. all right yeah. what else do we look at yeah next we also uh, look at the net income okay uh, make sure that uh, it's increasing yeah in fact they're also increasing uh, tremendously that's right yeah from 1 mm. billion to 149 billion, okay, in Rome. Yes, yes, correct. Yep, okay. Yeah, and then uh, we look at their profitability. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah down no, there, the, yeah, profitability, the first step. Yep, got it. First, uh, okay, first step. Yeah, so uh, we look at the net margin, okay. okay. Yeah, so net margin, uh, Will, will let us know their pricing power, okay, how healthy are they, whether they're controlling the cost good, okay? Yeah, so you can see the, the latest uh, financial year, they actually uh, have almost 30% uh, 30 uh, net margin. This is also very healthy. All right, okay, guys. Yeah. At this point yeah. in time, I just want to pause for a moment, right? And then I want, to, I want to focus on this. Now, the net margin, right, is exactly, basically, this is very important. Can you all make a guess, right? We talk about Amazon being the Amazon of the world or of US, right? Hmm. Baba being a little bit more like Amazon. Can you make a guess? What's Amazon's net margin? Do you think it's higher or lower? Can you make a guess? Can you put higher or lower? Or make it, maybe you can guess a number. So you can see consistently their net margin. And net margin means, right, after they collect money from the customers, everything, they pay out all the expenses, how much money they have left. Generally, about 20%. So Amazon, let me just show you Amazon's uh, uh, net margin uh, so that you guys actually do know. Uh, let me just go to Amazon also. Hmm. Uh, did I guess Amazon, Amazon higher or, or slower? Do you want to make a guess? Uh? 
because we want to compare ma, to see well okay alibaba is it really that good so we want to actually see basically their benchmark their biggest so-called competitor mm. it, it, it's, it's my screen loading okay let me just show you amazon's net margin do, do, do you have any idea what is amazon's net margin a lot lower <laughs> single uh, digit <laughs> low single amazon digit higher. amazon higher amazon lower now let me let me let me show you guys this um this is something that is very telling well, okay so what why is it very telling uh? uh let me show this so again uh, this is guys this is alibaba group can you see that alibaba group their net margin is 60 20 over percent 20 over percent sometimes go as high as 70 percent but it's uh, abnormal now this is amazon's net margin okay amazon correct their net mm. margin right is only about three percent i think letters see? about four uh. letters about yeah. four three yeah, to four percent Three so, to four. So this this shows me something very interesting. Uh, because Amazon's revenue, right? Do you know that Amazon's revenue is much bigger than Alibaba's revenue because it's in USD, uh, USD. But their income is about the same, you know. Both their income yep. in USD actually is the same. So so yes. later we also take a look at the valuation, and then you can have a better sensing which one will be a better investment. Okay, but let's let's go back to Alibaba first. But, but hmm. I, I was blown away when I compared these two. I know Amazon is strong. But I realize Alibaba has certain advantage. Maybe, maybe their manpower cost, their their cost of delivery is much cheaper than US. Lah. Maybe. Okay. Okay, yeah. So next is uh next item is uh the interest coverage, which is uh 33. Okay. This uh, means that uh Alibaba will be able to keep paying their debt interest for 33 years, okay, if they don't generate any additional income after this. Okay, That's so right. uh, that means it's uh, very safe, lah, okay, they won't go bankrupt anytime soon. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, and then next is the debt to equity ratio. Yeah, debt to equity ratio, this one is right at the end here. Debt yeah. Equity. Yeah, so debt to equity ratio meaning that uh, the amount of debt they are having, right? Okay, what is the ratio compared to their total book value? Book value means that their total asset minus their liability. La. So the yeah, ratio is only about, yeah, the, the, is, this ratio is about only uh, 18%. Okay, so anything less than uh, 50%, anything less than 0 0.5 is considered very healthy. Yeah, so yeah, they are 0.18. Yeah. Historically, they're quite low. But of course, we look at right now, they, they don't need a lot of debt because they're generating a lot of cash. Very cash-rich company. Uh, even, Correct. even they borrow a bit of money. Uh, the also, right now, borrowing money, hmm. also not much risk uh, because of the interest rate. As long as they can pay back. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. In, in fact, they used to have a more debt last time for, I believe, for growth. Okay, Now, they already stabilized. They generate a lot of cash flow. Okay? Yep. They, they don't need the, 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 the debt anymore. Correct. Hmm. Yeah. So yeah, so they actually have a uh, five out of five of these uh, banana score. Oh, banana score. Okay, wait. Let me go back to yeah. banana score. Yes, five out of five banana score. Uh, okay. Mm. Ding dong, ding dong. Mm. <laughs> so so this one is a very good banana. Lah. Must must pao tia one. Must eat one. Correct. Mm. Yes, yes. So this is the five criteria that I find uh, very very important. Uh, as uh, to see the track record. Okay. And also uh, ensure their sustainability instead in, in the in the case of unexpected or uh, uh, bad time. Okay, and also we know they have uh, all this just now. Just how you mentioned this. Oh, yeah, I I miss right. I I miss the return on equity. Yeah, okay. I miss the return on equity. So let's go to return yeah. on equity. Uh, again, this Baba return on equity is mm. here, correct? Yeah. So yes, this yeah. one your benchmark is how much again? Let me take a look. Yeah, your benchmark 15 is yeah, and right now they have generally 23. 20 over percent, correct? And it must be yeah. consistent throughout the year. So, this is something consistent. that shows how strong they are in using shareholders' money or shareholders' equity, correct? Correct, correct. So, so basically, we know that uh, all the money that they have uh, earned, they're actually able to, to uh, grow it in terms of uh, more cash, more asset. Uh, whether it's tangible, intangible, okay? Yeah, so so basically their book value is keep increasing. So it makes right. sense, like, if you see their revenue, their income increase, but their, their book value decreasing, right? then I think something is wrong already. Maybe they're cooking right. the book already. Yeah. Cooking the book, okay. Mm -hmm. then, then the banana will be rotten. Okay, hey, but can, mm -hmm. be, can be fried banana, okay? So 
Sorry, it doesn't make sense. Let's move on to the next slide. It'll, be, it'll just be a banana skin. Uh, yeah, yeah, banana skin. Correct, correct, correct. Rotten mm. banana. Yeah. So what are the key growth areas? Let's go through, man. Mm. Yep, okay. Yes, of course, the first key growth area, okay? Yeah, this is actually uh, uh, e-commerce. The growth is already high before this, yes. okay? E okay, and uh, the projection, all that is already very uh, uh, optimistic, okay? All the analysts, they also forecast very good, okay? But, okay, do you guys think COVID-19 is accelerating this growth? What do you guys think? The, if you think that COVID-19 actually helps in e-commerce, please type E. By the way, I'm drawing a banana here in case y'all don't know. This is a banana, okay, Ken? So obviously, <laughs> This is this is a situation where it's, it's beneficial to them, you know. It's quite interesting. And by the way, COVID-19, if you if you have been reading out, it's not gonna be over very soon. It's not gonna be over soon. Okay, because there's a second wave hitting, there's third wave hitting. So uh I mean in some sense, I, I'm not hoping for COVID. No, nobody holds for that. But if you are investing in this particular company, they do have advantage uh whenever COVID hits them. Yep. No, even even though COVID ends, right? Okay, even though vaccine yeah. come, all that, okay, everything back to normal, right? Okay. Yeah. Do you think that all this lockdown, okay, prolonged lockdown have already created a permanent impact to the shoppers' behavior? Mm -hmm. Right. I think it is, oh. I think I think the impact is permanent. Okay. A right. lot of people they, they already found out the new way to shop, okay, new way to learn, new way to work, uh, okay? They don't want to go back to the old way already, even though, even though the COVID is gone. That's right, that's right. Mm. Okay, uh, so, so there, are, there, are, there are some, there are some uh, questions and comments here. Uh, Amazon in, uh, intentionally post low profit. That's true, that's true. They invest right back into the company, correct? So uh, again, again, this is, this is something that I do agree, but Alibaba is not, is not slowing down also. You realize that Alibaba is also investing a lot. So, so I'm just yeah. comparing both equally where I feel that hey, Alibaba, they can invest, they are growing very fast. At the same time, they can give me good, good profit. So we can actually compare these two and then see uh, which one you can invest in both actually. I'm not saying you must choose one. Uh. You can choose A for Apple, B for Baba, right? So both of us can. Uh, uh, sorry, not, not Apple. A, A for Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. Cool, 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 cool. All right. They, okay, yeah, yeah. Tai Chi Hua says this is a new norm now. So uh, mm. a lot, a lot of things were actually well, E for excellent. Oh yeah, E is not uh, so. So you can see e-commerce is going to improve, right? So estimated China e-commerce revenue. This one is yeah. uh, estimated. This two zero two zero two zero two one and so on. Yes. Yeah. So you can see estimated for two zero two zero. Okay, was about one trillion. Okay, yeah. but uh, okay, I I found some report uh for two zero one nine on uh, mm -hmm. China, okay, mm -hmm. is actually already, uh, can you go to the next slide? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, next slide, yeah. Yeah. So in China, okay, 2019, they already recorded uh, 1.94 trillion. That's right. Yeah. That's right. So another banana. So it's going faster than expected. Yeah. That's right. Yep. Yeah. And the next area is the cup, okay. Uh, which we'll see uh, faster. Uh, currently, the growth rate is a lot faster than e-commerce. You can right. see the year on year is about uh, 62%, okay, 62% growth, okay, compared to the previous year for, for Alibaba. Yep, because this is something also, I would say it's a new technology. So a lot of people mm. still adopting it. It's still, it's still in the pretty much, I would say, early stage where early adopter adopted and then after that slowly, mm. Now probably reaching the middle, lah, where, where the mass majority needs to actually uh, adopt cloud computing. But in China, right, it is something that has a lot more potential to grow. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And, and why I keep focusing on China, I, I think I think because China, there is a big enough market for them to focus on and grow. Okay. And mm -hmm. and uh, because of the trade war also, okay, yeah, I try to uh, uh, eliminate other uh, external factor. Okay. So by looking at China itself, we know that there is tremendous uh, growth area and a lot of the, the very big total addressable market as well. Yeah. Yeah. And this is actually a, a actual data for 2019 Q4. The, the, cloud, the cloud infrastructure market is already generating 3.3 billion. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, so if you take this figure, right, 
if you times four means that uh, if assuming two zero two zero don't don't grow, uh, this is already more than what being projected earlier. So that means the actual actual grow rate uh, is actually faster than whatever the analyst is uh, uh, forecasting. That's right. These are just forecasts, uh, but uh, it's good that they actually forecast in a very more prudent, try to be more accurate. But we can see that because of COVID, because of, uh, not, not, not just COVID, this one is actually, I, I probably they are guessing the 2019, correct? So the war is actually getting faster. There's a lot of, the trade war is not stopping anything. But even if, let's say, the trade war does affect certain portions outside China, correct? China itself internally is growing a lot. In fact, I think the trade war does stir a lot of, I would say, patronism in, in, in China, like, where they want to actually, uh, want to actually, actually uh, sort of like, do do more internal trades and, and this this actually affects all this, right? Yes, correct. <laughs> hey, this one, this one we must ask Jack Ma. Why did he cash out his shares despite such a promising giant? Any ideas? Hmm. Okay, okay. okay. Uh, Samson, okay. Uh, actually, right, uh, if you see the news, right, if you read the detail, right, okay, Jack Ma actually, uh, they, they, they do a lot of uh, his uh, side project, okay, he's helping a lot of people. Uh, they call it, what is the word what is the word they use already uh, okay basically it's like uh they are doing a, a charity okay they're doing yeah. charity they're doing a mega a lot of mega project uh uh initiative okay to help people okay i i forgot the word already i forgot the word already okay philanthropy but, uh, yeah, yeah philanthropy yes right, philanthropy right. Yes, hey, this okay. guy, this guy right, he, he makes uh nine point six billion dollars now. So maybe at a certain point in time, you make another. If you got already ten billion dollars, uh, adding another two, three, ten, hundred billion dollars doesn't make more sense, lah. So to him, it's yeah. enough. It's enough. So it's okay, lah. So, huh? It's yeah, not always for me to play because of money. Yeah, yeah. For me, I don't really care yeah, when. Uh, when well, for me, I don't really care when uh, uh, stakeholder or director they sell. Okay, I will only pay attention when they buy. Okay, because for selling, they have one thousand reason to sell. Okay, that's right. That's Not right. because the share price is going to go down. They have one thousand reason to sell. Okay, but when when they buy, then there's only one reason <laughs> they believe the share price will go up. Yeah, so yeah. so I don't really care when they sell. I only care when they buy. Okay. <laughs> Unless they really sell a lot, uh. unless the CEO, CFO, everybody sell, but after that, the exchange will ask them, how come you sell? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm. Mm. Okay. The latest okay. report. Yeah. So this is actually their, their full year, okay? The full year uh, revenue, okay? And uh, you can see their year on year growth. Yeah. Okay? Year on year growth. So, yeah, yeah. So when you see at the total call commerce, right? Okay, they're still going at 35%. Okay, 35%. Uh, and the one that is uh, amazing is a cloud computing, la, growing at 62%. Okay, yeah, and this yeah. is a full year. Okay, full year. And uh, imagine uh, moving forward, right? Okay, I yeah. believe, I believe uh, it will be accelerated by COVID. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's right, that's right. And what, what do you mean, forced investing? Did we talk about forced investing? Oh no 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 no! I I I'm just I'm just talking about uh really, like Amazon versus Baba Karai. Both of them are investing. Both of them are investing. So Amazon is actually doing a lot of things. Baba is also doing a lot of things. Of course, it depends on how they uh, uh how much they want to invest in uh. Nothing right or wrong. It's just from an investor's perspective. When you look at both margins, look at both valuation, then we make a decision. So I I, I know you're a diehard fan of a uh, Bunti Karai. Okay, I also I also like Amazon. Really really okay. So so no no no, no, need, no no arguments about that, okay? Yes. Oh, yeah. can you share the link to this report? This one is their annual report. Okay, I, I can drop a link link there. Okay, in a moment's time. Yes. Yeah, it's yeah. in the annual report. Correct. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, what is a Baba Growth Plan? Okay, they are actually uh, focusing on the lower tier city. Okay. 
just uh, for information, China, they have like a tier one, tier two, until like tier six uh, city. Uh, uh, the tier one being the most advanced one, uh, okay, like uh, Beijing or, or Shanghai, all that, okay. Yeah, and uh, the, the strategy is to focusing on the lower tier city, uh, okay, and to offer more value for money uh, offering. And uh, they use a lot of uh, AI and uh, big data to further boost the ad revenue, okay. And uh, what really uh, caught my attention, right, okay, and also uh, uh, make it uh, similar to like, uh, like just now, uh, I forgot the, the, the name. Okay, you say Amazon actually reinvest a lot, okay, into uh, further profit. So I see Alibaba also, they are also very, very aggressively. Uh, uh, they are not really building their own infrastructure, but they are aggressive in strategic acquisition and merger. Okay, right. so this list here, right, this list here is actually all the, all the, uh, interest uh, the stack they actually take right uh in the past uh financial year the past 12 months okay right yeah so you can see from the top uh you have a call kaula okay so basically they just buy out the entire e-commerce from their competitor the net is okay so they integrate to themselves okay they they see how competitor can complement okay and then they just buy out them and then they make themselves stronger and then they have one less a competitor yeah, okay? no, no and then, yeah and then alibaba help okay they increase their stack to 60 percent and then they also uh, have a new uh, investment into this uh, minion uh, one health okay so they want to boost their healthcare part yeah, and then uh, another, they also in, in, invest in this uh, China trend in order to boost their cloud. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. Uh, talking about uh, the force reporting. <laughs> not, uh, not, okay. okay. So it's not force report. Uh, it's not force reporting. Mm. Amazon, Baba. Actually, we don't know mm. la. Maybe it's force reporting. We don't know. Mm. But I can tell you this. Uh, if you want to get listed in US, pretty strict. That doesn't mean there will not be force reporting. But anyway, looking at the way it's going, looking at I mean, there's there's true there's true business going on. We see the true commerce going on. So, and one of the key ways they are expanding, they are buying out more, more companies. And when a company has the ability to buy out companies with either cash or certain things, it's actually share swaps, right? They do show a lot of financial power, okay? They have a yeah. uh, financial muscles, uh. yep. Yeah, so so they keep they also uh, Alibaba they also keep investing uh, on all the different areas, you see, even in the logistic, okay? Yep. In yep. the... Yeah, in the consumer services, okay. Yeah, they, they increase the stack in the China and then uh, they also do, they also uh, uh, invest in the international expansion. Okay, so uh, in Russia, they actually uh, 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 set up one uh, AliExpress Russia together with this uh, company called Mail.ru. Mail okay, I think uh, a lot of people should know uh, this, this is quite a popular company, Mail.ru. Yeah. And then, and then Lazada, uh, just uh, on the uh, recently, they have actually uh, 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 have an initiative to to acquire the all the remaining stack in Lazada, yeah. so they uh, wholly own the Lazada. Yeah, and they also invest in uh, the smart car technology company. Yeah, they're, they're, uh, uh, it's interesting uh, because I think they are a little bit more like I'm always looking at Baba and Tencent. These two very very interesting companies. Mm. Yeah. Hmm, yeah, so this is a recent highlight. Uh, okay, we can see they also uh, have uh, uh, initiative together with uh, Starbucks. Okay, that mean uh, a lot of their Alibaba apps they can actually directly order Starbucks already. Okay, and then just now someone also mentioned the uh, N Financial will be listing in uh, Hong Kong. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is just uh, a very very fresh news. Okay, right. so yeah. a lot of people interested in fintech. Well, N is one company that goes for it. Hmm. Okay, yeah. And then uh, this one is, uh, I think, yesterday news, okay? Hong Kong will actually have a new tech index like uh, US or NASDAQ, okay? Mm -hmm. And uh, in this index, Alibaba will be the top holdings. Uh, like a bit like 8 point, like 8 8 point something percent. Yes. Yep. Oh, okay, Alibaba, 8 point something percent, right? Okay. Yes, the highest uh, in the index. Oh, banana skin. Tell us more. Yeah, of, of course. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Uh, all businesses, all investment also have risk. La, okay. So we must be aware of the risk. La, okay. So the first one is the 
aggressive competition. Uh, okay, if, if you right. see uh, JD and Pintodo, okay, uh, it's actually a formidable, formidable mm. competitor. Okay, you see Pintodo, they actually uh, have a very impressive in terms of uh, gaining the money active user, right? They're catching up very, very fast. Okay, right. and then JD, they're actually doing something different. They're actually uh, uh, copying uh, what Amazon Amazon is doing. They build their own warehouse. They they want to uh, improve their all their delivery, the stocking, everything. Okay, so so uh, it's it's a real real competition to to Alibaba lah, Okay, and for Cloud, definitely need to look out for Tencent lah, Okay, right, right. So so mm. someone is asking about uh Alipay. Alipay is under N Financial. So yes. It, yes. It's just part of it. You know. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's under N financial, correct? That's right. Okay. Mm. Yeah. So, and they require a constant innovation to stay ahead. Okay. okay. And uh, their merger and uh, investment may backfire. Okay. Uh, because uh, not all their, this, uh, they, are, they have, a, they, are, they don't, do not have the controlling stack on all of their investment. Which right. a, a lot they, they rely heavily on, especially N, N Financial. 33% okay. only, right? Is it? Yes, 33% only for N Financial. Yeah. Go to the next one. Okay. Yeah. So the, the, the entire ecosystem, right, actually heavily rely on N Financial. Uh, N, N for is a financial services. Okay. So uh, let's say uh, if N. Uh, the 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 major shareholder they want to uh they want to do funny funny thing they want to increase price increase interest interest rate right okay so uh, Alibaba do not have a total control over that so this is mm -hmm. one risk yeah that's right and uh, this one very interesting vulnerable to hacking and network disruption uh it's getting right. more and more exciting this portion by the way <laughs> every technology company uh, they will sure have to face this sooner or later. Correct, correct. Yeah. So, so what I say, uh, network disruption, right? Okay. Imagine I want to use Alipay with your phone, right? And then mm -hmm. suddenly the 5G or, or 4G, okay, no line or network disruption, or, okay. So, so you, you are actually uh, bound to uh, all these, uh, yeah, disturbance. Uh, yeah. Right. Can you all make a guess? Uh, can you all make a guess? Every single day, based on Alibaba, every single day, how many hacking incidents are there? Can you all make a guess? Every single day on, on Alibaba. How many hackers are trying to smash Alibaba? Just, just make a guess. Later, later I show some very interesting statistics. Uh, however, so far they have not really, I don't remember seeing any reports of them going down. So they have very strong defense uh, uh, ecosystem also. Uh, can you make a guess? How many of them? 1,000. Uh. Okay. Uh, what, else? what Any Anyone else? <laughs> Let me let me show you. Let me show maybe you. Miss out a few zero <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe miss out a few zero. Uh. So if y'all can see, uh, so it's about 300, 300 million <laughs> per day. <laughs> 300 million per day. Uh. Uh, but so far, so far, so good. Uh, uh, not much situation yet. 50k. Oh, uh, well, you're very kind. Uh. So a lot. Uh, <laughs> no, no one. <laughs> okay, but but this is behind the scene. Every single tech company goes through that. Uh, anyone you can mm. think of. Part and parcel of the game. Yeah. Yep. Mm. Oh yes, international trade. Trump's mercy. Uh, uh, let's see whether Trump can win this election. The the situation don't look very good for him right now. Uh. So he's trying yeah. to create more. Money. But the, the good thing is uh, chi uh China have enough, the, the pie is big enough for, for yeah. uh, Alibaba. In oh, they, can, they, can, they can actually make a lot of money really. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. That's true, uh, that's true. Uh. This is what Jack Ma said. Uh. We don't know whether 300 million whether is, is it true, okay? Yeah, sometimes he maybe I I don't know. Okay, cool. So mm. valuation, let's go for that. Okay, excited. Mm. This is the part where everybody is excited to know is Alibaba a good valuation. Uh, let me go to it. Huh? So we're going to morning star first, right? Yes, yes. Let's we go to morning star first. We do the simple one first. Okay. Then we go to later another website, right? Yes. Yes. Where do you want to go to? Valuation. Yeah, the valuation. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So if you see, right, normally uh the, the, the simplest way and the effective way, right? Okay, we can look at uh two parts. Okay, one is the average uh PE for the past mm -hmm. five years, and then right. also the average uh price per book for the last five years. Okay, Correct. so uh, uh, the, the value for the PE current P is not accurate because they recent yeah. they just recently closed their 
their full year financial. This so, is more uh, accurate, guys. Yeah, the, the actual oh. one now is about 33, okay, 33, okay, mm. uh, which is actually a slightly undervalued compared to the right. fire average of a 38, okay. And if you, if you look at the price to book value, okay, it's also a slightly undervalued compared to a 7.07, 7. okay. Right. So, but, but guys, I think uh, this doesn't uh, give uh, Alibaba the the justice, uh, it is not justifiable to use this a simple valuation because uh, it seems to be uh, so much more potential, right? So we must use some uh, proper uh, valuation uh, method. Lah, okay. So, yeah. so uh, uh, Guru Focus have this uh, the free DCF calculator okay, that we can use. Okay. Uh, and uh, for this... Testing, testing. Am I still there? Are you still there? Yeah. Am I the one lagging or you? Sorry, am I still there? Okay. Oh, how can I participate in M Financial? Uh. Oh, can I just check? Am I the one lagging? Can y'all still hear me? If you can still hear me, please type yes. Uh, I think. Am I lagging? I think uh, either me or Sean is hang. Oh no, I think there's 300 million uh, hackers trying to, to, to hack us. Can you, hear, can you hear me, Ken? Oh, banana connection. Hey, your, your connection like banana. Okay. Hey, by the way, uh, there's this particular question. Is PB a good gauge for Baba since it's considered tech? Now, uh, Kao Wong, right? Oops, a banana investor is gone. Okay. So Kao Wong, actually, right, the thing is this. If you have attended our tech workshop, we did, we did actually uh, did a tech workshop, right? And our tech workshop, right, we did actually go through using average PB, right? It's actually a possible uh, strong way to uh, look at uh, the look at the gauge. Because, uh, because book value does increase steadily. So it's a very stable way to actually... Uh, you, you should go and look back at our tech workshop. Uh. We actually done a very in-depth in study on the on this. Okay? Uh, but now sorry, guys. Go, I think I got disconnected. Uh, no problem. Let's go to Guru Focus. So okay. this is Guru Focus. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. DCF. Yeah, they have a free DCF calculator, discounted yep. cash flow. So, yep, you can click on this step. You can come to DCF. Uh, again, the principles of DCF, probably you all will need to watch some of the... If you can explain right now, we can try to explain as, as much as possible. You need to enter yeah. a few variables. So, this is the EPS yeah. to change, right? Yeah, so the EPS actually, uh, I checked their annual report. It's actually a 6.99. I'm going to change uh, to 6.99. 7.98 is not, it's not correct. The diluted is 6.99. Okay, 6.99. Okay. okay, and then the discount rate, okay, uh, we should use uh, 15%. Okay. Uh, okay, that means uh, we aim to uh, earn 15% uh, every year if we want to right. use this uh, valuation. Okay, and then uh, next is, uh, okay, for the share price, right, they already auto uh, key in for you already, the group focus. Okay, okay so, right. for the, so for the grow, grow, right, we have actually a uh, two stage, okay. One is actually the growth stage, okay, that means the first 10 years, what is yeah. the growth rate that we can anticipate? Okay, so right. we just now we can see like uh from uh, for the past ten years, right? Okay, it actually uh, do like more sixty percent. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, actually it's very high. Okay, and actually uh uh going down is still very very high, about forty over percent for the latest uh for the five latest uh, five years. Okay, and right. and uh, recently we see that uh COVID, okay. I personally feel COVID, okay, it will actually uh, uh, get, make this number higher again, okay. But uh, uh, if I say I just put a 30% growth rate for the next 30 years, do you guys think this is a reasonable reasonable yeah. number think, for Alibaba? Do you think Alibaba can grow at 30% for the next 10 years? Uh, actually, you you are the banana vessel, you say 30 means 30. Which okay. I, I, think, I think that potential... Mm, 30 is, is, is a little bit high, but however, do remember for the next 10 years, think about it. Uh, next 10 years, do you think China can continue to expand internally? Although there will be a lot of issues and uh, digitalization takes place, cloud computing takes place. So all these are the growth drivers. Plus they begin to eat up a lot of other small companies and that adds to their growth also. Mm. So I think 30, it, it, I, I would say, I, would say I, I personally think that 30 will be, will be quite okay for the next 10 years, but, but not more than 10 years. 
Yep. Mm, yeah. And then for the 11 until 20 years, probably uh, we put 10%. 10% of war. This one a bit aggressive. Okay, but doesn't matter. Very, very I'll, go aggressive, uh. I'll, I'll go. I'll go according to yours. Okay. So <laughs> you, you say 10%. Uh. Okay, can. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So so uh, based on this this growth rate, right, and the, the discount of 15%. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So we can see that uh, the fair value is about uh 333 USD. Okay. Uh, which give us about a twenty-two percent margin of safety. Okay, if got we it. are to invest uh, now, got it, got it. So, so I, I'm just going to do a bit of adjustment uh. So, so this mm. one is something that the banana investor does feel that it is uh, currently is a fair value. I, I, I again, I don't mind thirty percent for the next ten years. I think it's highly potential to actually reach there. But maybe after ten years, I'm just going to adjust slightly. But I don't think it's going to make a significant change. Okay, let us see. Uh. let let me change to five percent. Let's see. If I change to five percent. Mm. I think I'm mm. more comfortable at five percent. Uh, well, yes. it is. It is still. It is still two hundred plus. Still mm. cheaper than current price. Well, this I think even when we adjust to that expect and we still want fifteen percent. Now, based on the calculator, we cannot tell you to buy lah. We are not allowed to say that lah. But based mm. on calculation, it does seems that it's undervalued. It does seems like a good entry. What do you guys think? Do you think that Baba is a good entry? By the way, let us compare a few more things up. This is this is Alibaba Group, right? Don't mm. forget that. Amazon now uh, we compare to Amazon. Hmm. Okay. Uh, Amazon's PE is always 100 over plus. So uh Alibaba, Alibaba, it is it's actually 30 plus, correct? Yeah, now, 30 another plus. Thing you, look at, you look at is one more thing is this for Alibaba, the the market cap, hey, where's the market cap? Our market cap is 697 billion, but they are making the same amount of money as Amazon. Uh, don't forget. So Amazon. Hmm. Amazon, the market cap is one over trillion. And the, the interesting thing is both companies, they are making equal amount of net, net income. And both companies, they are growing around the same rate. Their growth rate is the same. So, so it, well, you can still choose to buy both. But when I put them side by side, in my own opinion, again, my own opinion, I think Alibaba is a better investment due to valuation. Due to valuation. Okay, cool. So this is this is my opinion. And again, back to DCF. If you based on banana vester, it will be fair value is about 333. Nice number. Nice number. Okay. Yes. You purposely choose this number, correct? Uh no. I I decide the growth rate. I decided to grow rate and then uh, just happened to have this number. And uh, Pauline was asking on the discount rate 15%. Per, 15% okay. Yeah, so yeah, the 15% right, yeah. it actually means like uh, area you expect to, to actually uh, 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 earn how many perfect percent every year. Okay. That it will be the dis discount rate. Yes. This, this, this number 15% right, came, came actually as a benchmark for Warren Buffett on some of his literature, of his letters to his shareholders, right? He did mention on a few occasions that when he, measures a company he aims for at least 15 percent why not 20 why not 30 if best we can put 100 percent but you put 100 percent only you buy already uh. why because uh you have to buy it at 12 dollars uh. okay understand uh? so it must be a reasonable, it must be a reasonable rate if you put 10 percent you see it affects the fair value if you want to buy it if you want 10 percent returns then eh, they don't want 10 percent 11 percent 11 percent returns then you have to buy 500 dollars which is very cheap now so we want to actually make 15%, you have to buy at uh, $33. You want 20%, so we can adjust it accordingly. But importantly, remember to adjust all this before checking out the fair value. Then you can compare to the price right now. So make it a discipline, make it this discipline to, to aim for 15%, 20% is okay. But remember, the higher percentage you want to aim for, the cheaper you must actually buy the stock price. You must make it uh, be more patient. Okay, cool. Great. Yes. So let me go back to your slides. Or you compare mm. this to Google. Cool, cool, cool. I never compare. I compare. Uh, you you just go to the the presentation mode. Yeah. Okay. Actually, I yeah I have three. Uh, compared to JD. Okay. Okay. Yep. So compared to JD, their PE is about uh hundred and ten. Okay. Yep. Yeah. And then next compared is compared to Amazon. Yeah. Oh yes. yes. Thanks. Yeah. And then uh, the last one is a Google. Yeah. So a bit, Google a bit is more uh. Yeah, a bit more like Google. Yeah, about thirty over. Cool, cool, mm. cool. Yes. Oh. <laughs> okay. So this one talk about now. Okay, sorry, I spoiled your joke. <laughs> <laughs> let's let's go through the whole joke again. Yeah. No. No. So just uh, 
basically, uh, just just a uh, uh, a food of thought for you all. Uh, whether Baba, do you think uh, yeah, you want to buy or not tonight? <laughs> yeah. And your prediction is, it looks like a banana shape, uh. Okay. Uh, I think I think I think you never eat dinner just now, correct? Your 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 brain a little bit. <laughs> okay. Any, <laughs> anyway, thanks thanks for the presentation. A any questions so far? Do you have any questions? Uh, we we can just answer some questions. Oops, sorry. Yeah. So fifteen percent is uh yeah yeah it's actually based on the rest of the companies based on our own personal aim for a certain percentage when we invest. Cool. Yeah. So do you guys learn something tonight? Well, do you all think Baba is investable? If you think that Baba is investable, personally, your own portfolio, do you want to add Baba to your portfolio right now? If yes, you can type Baba. If no, you can type Nana, Banana. Okay, Baba. Sorry. Baba, Nana. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Now, so the China, China, uh, US issue, what do you think? Okay, for the China, US issue, uh, are you referring to the delisting of a China stock? MH? Oh, is that is that a question? Are you referring to it, that? Never mind. Let's assume he's he's, he's uh, uh, okay. talking about that. Okay, so the delisting, right? Okay, actually that one, right? I don't think it's an issue. Okay, because the reason is if you read the details, right? Okay, actually talking about delisting of businesses listed in US that cannot comply to the the audit standard. Okay, the audit standard required by the stock exchange and they have to fail for three years in order for it to be delisted. All right, correct. So, so there's no issue, lah, guys. Uh, uh, the, the delisting will not be an issue. Don't, uh, don't have to say no. Uh, are you referring to some other uh, issue? Yeah, you can, you can share that. Or oh, embassy issues. Uh, uh, yeah, this one, like, like, what we <laughs> mentioned, uh, well, like what we mentioned, Baba, even if they organically just depend on China and Asia, there's, mm. there's still a lot of chance. That, what you yes. banana. Yeah, so, so in our mm. opinion, because Baba's main revenue, a lot of them still come within China. So, so don't, don't have to be too worried about US. I don't think they have a lot of revenue from US as well. Okay? Yeah, so yeah. Baba versus 9988, actually just how we mentioned, there's not much difference. Uh, it's just an idea, there's a bit of fees. But if you actually do US Baba, you can actually do options as well if you're not to use. You, you can have a lot of uh, opportunities also, also. Yes, you can you can buy into the Hong Kong one. No problem. No problem. Okay. Yes, yes. Is it a good time to enter now when the earnings will be released 13th of August? Actually, if you believe in the long-term prospect of Baba, you should enter now. If, if they announce and... This, this is my strategy. I'm going to budget a certain amount for Baba. I think they are not going to be very affected by COVID. Then you take half. You take half. You enter half now. And if let's say the earnings release and it drops for a certain reason, did not meet expectation, forward earnings uh, uh, guidance a bit slower, then you can enter the other half. So always a portion in a way that you don't make yourself regret too much because it's very psychological. That's not market. Cool. Yep. Why is the P ratio of, of Baba on Yahoo Finance so much higher? Uh, we can check into that. Maybe I check Guru Focus. Uh, uh actually, they are free. Those are free website. Right? you don't pay for it, right? So yeah. they don't really uh guarantee you a correct information. And one of the reason is, uh, they recently just closed their book. They recently just closed their book. So you see, even Morning Star is in 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 incorrect. Yeah. Yeah. So for Guru Focus is about thirty two lah. Hey, by the way, one one possibility of a uh, Yahoo Finance. Why why is it so high, right? Maybe they forgot to change the EPS. Or, or they forgot to change the stock price. Okay, so so because it's in it's in China yen, so renminbi, and then the stock price may be in US. So I I've I've seen this before. Very importantly, do go and calculate. So you calculated for us with really, uh, it's 30, 30, 30 plus, correct? Mm. Hey, you must go and calculate la. Mo mm. Most important thing you go and calculate. Okay, cool. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Chris, yeah, we just mentioned mm. about the delisting is actually a non-issue. Okay. Yeah. Uh, now, the thing is this, if, if you already feel that Hong Kong is better, go ahead and buy Hong Kong because Hong Kong also do have options. But you must know, like, Hong Kong also not in a very good situation. Now. So <laughs> there, there's a lot of turmoil over the place. But, but if you buy the shares, mm. one, thing, one thing is like that. Uh, if you buy the shares, even if you buy Alibaba and they get delisted in US, right? no problem. You are still a shareholder. Meaning you say you can still yeah. exercise rights. You can still get the growth. They will actually convert to you to Hong Kong shares and things like that. So this is a very 
I wouldn't say it's a common thing, but I've I've been through that before, where a can when a company after I buy the shares they delisted and listed somewhere else, right? They will convert to that to that to that country shares, lah. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. uh, MH, uh, I have no idea. Need to check the need to check the all the the data, lah. Need to check. Actually, the you can check. Uh, you can check their report. Yeah. Yep. Yes. Oh, uh, this one really must check the report. Yep. Uh, but the concern mm. is, let's say they throw away, right? Then the share price drop. Well, again, again, there must be somewhere they can sell to. And Baba, if the share price drop, will be a uh, better news for us, lah. Okay, Ken? Yes. Oh, this is true. This is true. So, uh, wait, wait, wait. Ke actually says some, something. Wait, um, okay. Says something very true. Uh. once they actually be added into the new tech index in Hong Kong, very likely there will be an ETF, and ETFs will be set up to buy the fund. And they will be asked to actually right. buy Baba. So, so when they actually buy that, right? Uh, there will be a natural increase in demand. Will it shoot up in share price and all that? There will be a slight chance it will be lah. It will be even more liquid. This, yeah. this is a good point. Uh, beside, beside that, uh, okay. Beside that, uh, a lot of the the national fund, pension fund, okay, they will only look at index stock to buy also. That means mm -hmm. once they're in the index, right? Okay. Yeah. Uh, the, the a lot more fund from this kind of uh, like the pension fund, hedge fund, they will flow in. Uh. Correct. Correct. Uh, okay. Cool. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks for actually asking these questions. Are you all guys enjoying this? If you're enjoying this, please type banana, banana. Okay. And and please please follow please follow our banana investor on on his Facebook page as well. He's sharing a lot on tech stocks. Why why you like tech stocks so much? Uh? Because you feel that they can grow, uh, is it? Is there I myself in the uh, tech industry. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah so, I, so I, 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 I myself in the techie. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, so uh, this is something that we do hope that you have uh, been like benefiting a lot. Help us share this show and also do follow us. Ask your friends to join uh, our group. Ask your friends to follow Banana Vester. Hey, let me pull up your Facebook page uh, so I can share this. Okay, so also if you want the summary notes, you want all these slides, correct? We will be putting it in endless group. You can also follow Banana Vester to actually get the, the, the slides also. Okay, Ken? So this is all we want to share. Hope that you have a good night. A lot of people love you guys. Uh. Banana, banana, banana. Mm. Yeah, you're already eating banana. Hey, so you're distracting them. Okay, okay so <laughs> we'll see you guys next week for another episode of COVID Investing Ideas. And that's where stay safe, continue to eat fruits, and continue to invest in good stocks. Okay, bye-bye. Okay. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye.